Good morning, everyone. I'm Tacitix, and welcome to Season 52, 3 vs. 3 Grand Arena Championship, Week 1, Round 2, um, for Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. You know, uh, I didn't stream Round 1 for this season. I got matched up with one of the Erodium accounts, so if you're catching this on YouTube and looking at the bods, wondering where season or you know, Episode 1 is, there you go. So, yeah, I had a freebie for Round 1, and we'll take it. Because this morning, I even busted out the old hat because this is a nostalgia match. We're up against our, uh, you know, our fellow schemer here. Uh, Guildmate friend, TJ5270, the sabered hand, of course, of Maw Chromium. Um, let us jump right into the review. Do, 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 do. So, prediction. Uh, start prediction. What do we do? We did one or less, two or more. So, we'll do um, two or less, three or more. We'll, we'll give us a little more room here in threes to work in. So, we'll start the prediction, and we'll see what you guys have to say. Let's get into this review. Uh, I guess we'll go to desktop view here. Okay. Oh, yeah, I do have to acknowledge a few things. Uh, for, oh, wow, we're actually really close to a hype train right off rip, guys. Thank you so much. Good to see you all, too. Uh, Sweens, good morning, Task. Going to be lurking here, listening while you have in the match. Best of luck, my brother. Appreciate you, Sweens. Good to see you. Trevor Boy with a resub. Sub for su uh, seven months. Appreciate you, man. Good luck. Thank you. Uh, Che Che subscribed here three months. Nice. Doofine just uh, signed on again here for six months. And we are now 93% uh, of the way through a level one hype train. Thank you guys so much. Choo choo. We're off to the race. Uh, che Che, I saw, I saw what you did. I saw that you did a redemption for me to review a character. We'll look after it just after this. Let's finish up the uh, the pre-show here on TJ. All right. So uh, rank 39 fighting rank 37. My 14.2 million GP to his three, uh, 13.4. My top 80 uh, GP is 3.12 to his 3.02, so a little something there. Zeta's my 343 to his 344. <laughs> He's probably already sunk the one on Boombadier or something, the bastard. Um, GAC Omicrons, we both have 53, so no surprises there. Top 80 average speed, my 161 to his 151, so that's hopefully a sizable advantage. Uh, plus 25s, my 186 to his 167. Um, 20 to 24 is my 435 to his 235. Wow, that's a big one. Plus 20s, my 621 to his 402. 15 to 19s, yeah, we don't usually cover that, but we're, we're pretty close through there. Uh, plus 4% offenses, uh, my 158 to his 39, so quite a bit. And then plus 6% or better offenses, my 48 to his 6. So we just have him dwarfed on these mods. That's good. That's real good. Hey, Sinister Laugh, just uh, just subscribe, resubscribe here for three months. Thank you. You're pushing the train along. We are now into level two, guys. Thank you all so much. What a great way to start off the weekend, man. Appreciate you guys. Yeah, it's because you're digging the old hat. That's what it is. You, you, you're feeling the nostalgic vibes with me. That's what it is. All right. Relic analysis, total levels, my 2079 to his 1840. The biddies. biddies from sheep. Man, it really is the hat, isn't it? The hat's magic. Hmm? Hmm? All right. Um, <coughs> level uh, Relic 9's my 87 to his 44. Relic 8's my 127 to his 76. Relic 7's my 36 to his 101. Okay, so we've got a lot of size on him there. Datacron analysis, total reroll. So, um, yeah, so my 13, sets 13 and 14. I actually uh, went very hard on this new set because of how high I ha am up in the rankings. Like, I'm, I'm here in the top 40, and we know that it's, like, the top 30-ish, like 30, 32 of these accounts, something like that, are these Erodian people. So I know I'm up there, and <laughs> the people I'm fighting are going to have the goods week one. So I did go hard and made sure I had a wide stretch of Relic Nines. Uh, I've never done this before. I've never actually spent crystals to make sure I had a, a wide array of, of level, nine, or, uh, level 9 Datacrons. Uh, but I'll cop to it up front this season. I did it because I saw it's like, holy crap, that's like 8 or 9 at least of these level 9s that are going to be hugely impactful. So it's like, yeah, had to go in on that. Anyway, for all that said, my total rerolls are 177 is 228. So he certainly put more love into them. 
Six to eights, I have three. He has 13. Three to fives, I have seven. He has four. You love the old school? <laughs> yeah, man, I, I do I do love this hat. I, I, I'm just going to have to look into getting a replacement for it. Just a replacement. So this one can sit behind us and I can just wear one. Because this, this signature, uh, hold on, it's on this side of the hat. Yeah, this signature, uh, I don't want to fade off of the hat. And that's the reason why I retired it for the most part. All right. GL comparison. Anything that stands out to me. Feel free to pause the VOD, take a screen grab, whatever works for you. Okay, it all looks pretty regular. Okay, nothing too crazy. All, all stuff I've seen. All right. Uh, the so-called key characters. Ooh. Okay. Okay. All right. Wow, that's a lot of prod on that gas. That's nice. Okay, so we're pretty well tied up through there. I'm not, not seeing anything jump right out at me advantage-wise. Let's take a look at the Omega Bot report. So yeah, we're here at the start of the season. This report is based on his full last 3v3 season. Um, so we're going to have to, you know, kind of read between the lines here for the first week. Um, I'll turn off my camera here so I have my stupid head out of the way when you're looking at this. All right, so as far as attack timing goes, TJ likes to jump straight out the gate, and then if he feels that there's advantage to waiting later to see what uh, what kind of risks he might be able to take or undermans he might be able to do, depending on how his uh, opponents have attacked, uh, yeah, he is okay to do that. All right, mod comparison. Yes, we see. I really just got a big chunk of speed on him, what, from like 18 to 25, and then we more or less even up. Omicrons, <laughs> yeah, we both saw that we had them all, so there's really nothing to talk about there. Um, I guess I have the Lumi one and he doesn't, and he has the Tuscan Chieftain one and I don't, so that's how. All right, squad banner efficiency. So the majority of his attacks were 57, and he was getting 57 more often than his opponents were getting it against him. But otherwise, his 56s, 54s, pretty competitive with his opponents. He got a little bit more 55 action, but I also want you to take note of how much of this you see. <laughs> how much of this sub-50 stuff. A 38, a 37, a 36, a 35, a 34. Ba -ba 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 so basically he had what? Three three shots last season, something like that, a couple two shots, stuff like that. So this suggests that, you know, he's trying to be efficient, but he's willing to set a, a fairly challenging defense because he knows how to attack with the big toys, so more of these are on defense, I think. All right, Hype Train wrapped up here. Thank you, guys. We went through level two. Appreciate it. What a great way to start off the morning. I really appreciate the love. Um, let's talk about the defense tip. Okay, so what was he setting last season? Saw, DTMG, Ray Swolo, Tuskins, Finn, Malgus. Lord Vader Maul, Seer Malikos, Reva. Yeah, man, that Reva on defense is tough. Um, Aiden, Bo-Katan uh, Bo Mando, Rex Krex, and then it's kind of a mix from there. It's tough to say how much we'd see these other teams. Leviathan, Malevolence, Executor on defense. Uh, not a lot of surprise. One, occasionally a profundity if you see some type of limited advantage. All right. Defenses by zone. This is what I like. This is what I like to see. Very difficult to infer a, a super strong pattern overall. But um, we know DTMG, Saw, Ray Swolo, Reva, and maybe something like Malgus or BKM. Something like that. that that's what I would expect to see based on last season. So the, the value of looking at this report from last season is just to kind of get the sense of proportion that he's comfortable with for defense and attack. So what do he do? Star Killer, yeah, yeah, Jawas, JMK, C, Afra, of course, Treya, Radis, Leia, Wampa, Slacker, Qui-Gon, Beers. Okay. Yeah, so he saves quite a bit. Jedi Count, Java, Bam, JKR, JKL. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we can see there was some bumps along the way. Chimera, Negotiator, and Executor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he had a couple um, fleet battles go south on him. That is a shame. 
All right, teams face by. What gave him trouble last team? A trench team. Rex Crex. JML. Wow, random JML. That, that, that must have been hiding in the back or something like that. Uh, Gas. Iden. Saw. Bo-Katan. DTMG and Ray Swallow. So a lot of the usual suspects that might give you trouble. The occasional... Yeah, the, the Leviathan gave him some trouble a bit. Oof. Zephyrs. What's going on, man? Good to see you. Happy Saturday. Not allowed to look at spreadsheets, IMO. Fortunately for you, this is just a bar chart. Ha! All right, so we're actually finished looking at this. So we, we have a pretty good sense of what he's doing. He's saving a lot, uh, setting cron teams, which I think is excellent strategy. Like when you have the data crons making something like Saw Cheer at Bay's just insane, you, you have a lot of reason to put it on defense. Maybe not 100% of the time, but probably most of it. All right, camera back on. Back to my ugly mug. Let's go back over here. All right, y'all have had your time, right? Yeah, there's five seconds on the clock, so get get your votes in. Where are y'all at with it? You think I'm sunk? What are we doing? All right, let's see what we did here. We got 56% of you going two or less, 44% three or more. So pretty, pretty fairly divided. Okay, I see you guys. All right, let's have a look at the board. Crack this open. <laughs> you haven't woken up yet, Zephyrs? Well, welcome to the show, man. I got the old hat on because it's an old school matchup, me and TJ here. So, let's talk about it. Um, my defense, we'll, we'll start with the order in which he attacked here. Let's talk about it. He's done me the courtesy of clearing the bottom front wall so I can talk about my full defense. So, yeah, uh, bottom front I had Rex Crex 5s. So he cleaned that right out for 57. Um... DTMG, Gideon, and Scout was 59. So, very highly suspect Sidious Solo there. Um, Gas, uh, sorry, not Gas, GG, Stapp, and Magna. Delighted with this one. Um, it's a three shot, and actually, I, I didn't see the first attempt. I came in when he was clean, uh, with, when he finished the second attempt. Like, I came, I, I checked the board and saw that all three had damage on them. So he preloaded on the second attempt with none of them dead. So I don't know if he backed out or preloaded on the first go. But for the third, he cleaned it up for a 24. So even so, he lost his protection banners on that third swing. Super high value. Now, as far as how my staps modded, um, especially if you have the Omicron, most folks are going with the um, super high offense. Like as high offense or high crit damage as you can stack on them. Um, because the Omicron says that he gets a bonus turn after every enemy gets their first turn, right? So you get an extra three bonus turns, like, really quick. Uh, lets you rotate specials, um, stack up GG really fast, and, and that's not even talking about the Kron. Then you have all all of everything baked in. I've, I've got the, um, you know, the offense and speed gain if someone dies on three. I've got the turn, uh, the target lock, level six separatist, and then the stap, level nine. Um, and mine is actually speed modded, uh, like about 10.3k offense, crit damage, triangle, and like 383 speed, like a plus 175 set. I did this mostly because my very fastest offense and crit damage are already tied up in a place like I didn't feel like doing the tear up to make this adjustment for stats sake. It was actually easier to just put a super fast set on him than to do all of the other tear up required. That said, I actually don't know how much I regret having him in speed because, you know, like five turns in fives is pretty nice when you get those five bonus turns from his Omicron. Three turns in threes, it's a little less. And, and then you're thinking about how often he can just cycle his specials because it's really good when he does. So, yeah, I'm, I'm delighted with how this turned out. I think it's okay if you want to have him speed or offense kitted, yeah. Just got woke by some scammer chick SMSing a pick at 7.30 a.m. Damn. Damn, dude. I mean, yeah. Sorry to hear that. That's not the way I'd want to wake up. All right. Jabba, Kersantan, Bausch. Um, took out for 55, so gave him a little chip there. And then Kellerin, uh, Gas, and Mace. And I wasn't really thinking about doing this, so uh, credit to my buddies who put this in my mind. Because um, I really wasn't thinking about doing this. But it seems like it was a fun idea. Didn't seem to give him too much trouble, though. Another 55 banner clear. 
All right, so we got some taxation uh, from gas. Otherwise, his attacks were very strong. Um, we'll talk about topside now, because he hasn't really looked it back, so we'll cover that last. <laughs> All right, so you got Saw Cheer at Bays, oldie but a goodie. We've got Tuscans there uh, with a Daokron. You've got Finn, Zorian, Rose, and he's already got one battle in on it. Preloaded, no one killed. Um, I can show you the Kron, so you can have a sense of what's going on here. It's got the stacking offense and speed on Ally Death. Um, the six isn't actually perfect. I, I prefer this the one where it's like the plus 100% tenacity and then each one of them has to go below 100% health before any of them can be killed. Uh, level six, that would be probably strictly the best one. But this level nine um, is pretty compelling because I've had my Finn about 260 speed in like a mix of defense and health sets for a long time, letting him just function as a tank on the team. But especially with this Kron, I, a lot of top end players have him in offense modding full time anyway. But especially because of this crown, I was like, man, I probably should make the effort to switch this guy up into some type of offensive modding. So, you know, it's um, he's a big boy. He is a big boy. He hits decently hard, and yeah, you know, at least seventy percent armor. It's not disgraceful. It'll work. So yes, we got a hold there, and then Ray Swolo Holdo. Of course, you're expecting to see a lot of this this season. Um, offense on death. This is the one I was just talking about, the level 6, the Holdo level 9. Good chunk of health, some health steal, and a lot of offense. I wish I could convert more of the health into offense. That's the other big change. Um, if you've been watching and looking at my Ray for a while, then I've had her about 240,000 health and about 12.3k offense at about 500 speed historically. Uh, we've had metas where it just favored her to have higher health because you wanted the bigger uh, lifebloods to last longer to do your thing. But now there's so much offense baked into this new set, I decided to make the switch up, right? Now she's got um, dramatically reduced health. She's at about 200,000 health on the nose without the benefit of this cron. And she is, I want to say... Um, what is she? 13.4k physical offense by herself. With the Kron, 16.2k. So just monstrous. Yes, we do have a lot of data Krons. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. We went I actually went in hard on this set, and I won't I won't bullshit any of you about that. I usually don't spend crystals on data Krons. I really don't. Uh, but this time I, I broke the rule because it's like, man, I'm I'm too close to the high to the highest folks that are going to just have it all. So I got to have it some, you know, I can't have it little. It's got to be some. All right. So anyway, yeah, kept the speed more or less in place. The health went down from 240 to about 200, but then just dramatic shift in offense. So really loving that. Um, and then, yeah, Qui-Gon, JK, Cam, uh, you know, with the jet, uh, with the stacking offense and speed on death thing, uh, the plus a hundred percent, um, offense level six, and then I think I have, yeah, cam level nine. The cam level nine's kind of whatever, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, I, I, mm, mm. I don't know how much different it made here, uh, difference it made here because he got 57 on that, so he crushed that one outright. Um, yeah, so Finn Zori, he had to withdraw, or you know, he got blown out on, and then he killed uh, Swolo here, so. Assuming that Ray's not able to stabilize, he should be okay, but he still has to get uh, Holdo underneath 100% before he can kill her, right? I think so. Never a resistance ally or Ben Solo. I don't know. I don't think Ray's actually resistance tagged, right? Is she? I don't remember. Oh, she is tagged. Okay, then it is going to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I forget if she was just some light side ufu kind of thing. All right, um, enough about top wall. Yeah, yeah, so we put some tax on the man. We put some tax on the man is the story, yeah? So he had the three-shot GG down south. He's got uh, a drop-in on Ray and a drop-in on Finn Zori with neither team yet cleared. And then he hasn't even looked at the back yet, so. All right, back here we've got BKM. We've got Lord Vader Malthron. You've got Trench Dooku Watt with the with the Trench Kron back in play. 
got Reva, and then you've got um, Crew and Resistance Brothers. So it's like, with Rose in with Finn and Zori, your Resistance Brothers are displaced. And it seems unholy to me to have them just sitting wasted, because at least my Resistance Hero Finn is really well set up. So it feels extra gross to just have him go to waste entirely, right? So him just being 361, just being by himself, is pretty nice. So at least here with crew, and I take this, I, I was reminded of this one talking with Dagger a couple days back, so he reminded me of the viability of this, because among the many things you can use to kill this team, Wampa won't be one of them. So, mm hmm, 57, it was something else. The Tassinix himself, what's going on, Kylo? What's going on, man? Why crew and not JTR? Because uh, JTR won't do anything to stop Wampa. It's literally because of Wampa. Like, the, it's an irresistible two-turn um, stun from Crew's middle. So if you dare go in with Wampa, you will be stunned. And then you're eventually going to get tenacity down from Crew's basic. Um, all the while you have, you know, a fast and decently high offense uh, resistance hero Finn trading off of uh, a very offense-modded uh, Resistance Hero Poe. And you're busy not taking turns while you're just sitting there getting pounded on. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't work if you use Wampa. That's the only, <laughs> that's the only upside. All right. Oh, man, this is locking up because it doesn't like all this. All right, well, that's fine. Let's restart it real quick. Hmm. Yeah, I can't do all of that. Hmm. What's the task manager saying? Ooh. Yeah, this all takes a lot. Yeah. All right, just got Holdo, Datacron, and Sidious has been at and Sidious. It's been a good day. Nice, Kyle. Very nice. Okay, so I think we'll see if this is gonna jam up again, but. Uh, yeah, it really, I mean, it really does not like that. I've got to think about that. Hmm. All right, so we can't review fleets because that will show my reinforcements. Uh, also, he hasn't cleared this wall yet, so there's that. Talking about TJ's defenses, top side. So, Aiden, range, sure, my old nemesis. Malgus, uh, Sith Marauder, and Sass with a Sass Cron, so we'll be sure to check that out when we get around to this wall. Uh, Tuskens with what I assume is a Daokron. Finn, Zori, Resistance Hero. Finn with Resistance Cron. We will look into that. Uh, DR, BSF, and Savage with a Sith Cron. Ooh, okay. All right, bottom front. Where do the games begin? So, Kellerin, Ahsoka, and Mace um, with a Kellerin Cron. What's he got going on here? So it's, um, whenever they resist a debuff, recover 2% health and prot. He's got the 100%, you know, offense, level 6 Jedi, and then the Kel level 9, which is massive. It is nasty. A good bit of health added, doesn't hurt anybody. 18% offense, 40, about 45% health steal, and 25% protection. The protection on here is quite nice. Quite nice. Um... Okay, that's a nasty boy. Qui-Gon Jinn, JKA, and Cam. Now, I noticed that both of these guys are dramatically slowed down for him. But, old boy's still about 382. So, we'll keep that in mind. Um, Ray, Swolo, and Cal. So, he has this here with a set 13 prod up, and it's high crit avoidance on it. Um, his idea here is... He knows that I know that he told me about Zareth using Seer Malico Star Killer to take on um, Ray Swallow uh, Holdo, and I wonder what he used against mine, because he did use this himself, I think, uh, in round one and had success. Um, so I, I don't know what he used against mine and dropped, but. You know, he decided not to set it against me, thinking that, you know, oh, well, if it's going to be a slam dunk to Seer Malico Starkiller that, then Tass is going to do that. Hey, Evos, what's going on, man? Hello, Mr. Tass. Good to see everybody here. All right, um, Saw, Chirrut Bays with the Chirrut Cron, of course, and then DTMG, Scout, and Gideon. 
with DTMG Chrono. All right, so here's the plan. It's going to be Sidious versus DTMG. I'm 99.9% .9 certain that's what he did versus me, so whatever. Um, my understanding is it's like it's like you can't fail, really. Saw, uh, I th think I'm going to JMK it. Yeah. I think I'm going to Bane the Ray. I've been told this works. I want to try it, because... Got to talk about all the best uses for Bane. You know, I don't want to be using Bane to just squash Reva's forever. Uh, Qui-Gon JK Cam, my inclination would be to, like, JML Hoda that. I don't want to mess with it. It's it's such that if I went in with Bad Batch... So so what it is on this Kron that also uh, needs to be paid attention to is that it's a no-revive. So if you go with Newt Django B1, you can be punished here. Like, if they decide, you know, if, if off-rip... Newt dies, then he's gone. Um, and that's actually very bad to lose him early in the fight. If you lose him later, like after you've got one or two of the Jedi dead, different story. But before then, it's not good. Not good. So my inclination is not to be cute. Um, that that said, if you do Bad Batch here with like a set 13 Prada, I think we would survive the opening hit um, from JKA, and then my Echo would be faster than everyone else, I'd pull the buffs off of everybody else, and then life would be a little easier, I imagine. Um, so the question is, you know, do I use JML there, or do I take the risk with Bad Batch because I might have a little attitude? Uh, Sidious versus DTMG, even with a defense to offense level 6. My man, he 59 mine. He 59 mine. What else do you know that 59's DTMG? And I have the same setup that you described, right? Doubt on three, 400% defense to offense. Yeah, man, it was all there. And he just rolled right on through. So I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be a slam dunk. But yeah, if it isn't Bad Batch here, it would be JML. And then this one... Yeah, this one is a little curious for me because we know it... it, it People have been running this for a couple seasons on threes now, and it hasn't been all that much, but that was before Kelkron, and now you've got, like, the Jedi 100% damage back in the mix. Uh, and then, God forbid, they actually resist any debuffs that you throw out on them because, yeah, then they're just going to heal. So I feel like this needs something very serious. It might even be a GL. I'm not fully resolved on it, but I think for the moment... I, I, I want to say Treya can do this. My gut says Treya can do this. Um, I mean, I guess, you know, Malgus could also do it, stuff like that. All right, I don't want to risk any jam, so I am going to restart one more time before we start the first fight. And we will do DTMG first and see, uh, you know, if there's any meat on them bones. Mm-mm-mm. It does feel good to be in the old hat, and it's actually kind of chilly this morning, so nice warm wool hat on the on the bald head. It's not bad. By the way, for everybody uh, celebrating tomorrow, happy Easter. I'm gonna see my mom today, and then I'm going over to my mother-in-law's tomorrow. Okay, DTMG. Hello, young man. Where's my man? So, uh, I'll show you how I have him set up. This is the first time I'm showing him here uh, with the new Kron and everything. Now, ideally, I would have liked to have done this with six potency mods. I wanted this to be a health primary on the arrow, though, and I did not have an acceptable health primary uh, potency set arrow, you know? So that's why it's that two piece. Ideally, though, it it would be, um, yeah, potency. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, health primary, decently fast and potency and health added on to it. So much the better. Little offense to boot. Crit damage triangle, lots of potency. Some offense speed. Uh, potency cross with some offense speed health. Mm -hmm. uh, health circle. Blah 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 blah. Great secondaries there. 
And then this one's pretty good, pretty decent. This one's really good. And it all adds up to 86, just about 87k health, 36,000 protection, 300 speed on the nose, crit damage triangle, 141.79% potency. So I'm actually really happy with that because people like people in the full potency setup are about 145. Close, pushing up probably up on 150. So being 141 minus the um, extra two-piece bonus from having that health set, I'm pretty happy with that. 89.35 offense, just a smidge under 9K. And I'm thinking about Relic 9, but I think he's probably below Finn for me as a priority right now, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. All right, Sidious Kron. So, yeah, I've got this level 3. He's a solo character, so don't bother with the, the death benefit one, right? You want to be able to ignore taunt. Now, now, bear in mind, at the start of their turn, Sith allies can ignore taunt to target a debuffed enemy. So, that that is the catch. Just be mindful of that. He gets to ignore taunt if the non-taunting character you'd like to hit has a debuff on him at the start of Sidious' turn. Um, and then, yeah. And then the huge Sidious level 9. I'm delighted with this. This is going to be fun. All right. No idea what I'm doing. Hmm. Hello there. Um, I guess do stuff? That's my inclination. Be involved in the doing of stuff. Alright. It's not my favorite. Okay. Ow. Okay. Elite. Ow. Ow. You guys are actually hitting him fairly hard. It would be better if you didn't. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bad opener. First attack. Jeez. Alright. So, it isn't uh, that slam of a dunk. You tested this and lost hard? I mean, I'd say that's fairly consistent with what I just saw. So what's 59ing it? Well, the one thing to check for is if I if I if I really am suspicious that it was um, if it was his Sidious, how was how are Sidious is different? His has less health, less damage, less speed, less potency. So hmm. Interesting. I don't know. I'll have to pick his brain about that. Let me see if his Datacron had anything. Ooh, what if he had a lot? Uh, it could be that. It could be that. Oh, that's got to be it. Here, let me show you guys desktop view. Here's his. Here is his uh, Sidious Cron. The, that's the big difference there is the 55.89% health. So that's something I got to optimize. Um, since the, you know, it's, I was talking about maybe Relic Nining him. Yeah, 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 Musket Giver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a great opener, That's but it's good to learn this now. Um, so he had this huge amount of added health. Now, I could partially make up for that with a Relic Nine, but the reason why Relic Nine isn't the best choice is because when this crown is gone, Sidious is just back to being some dud. So, yeah. So we have to work on that crown ourselves. Okay, well, hey, I mean, let's let's put it in the sheet. That is a good lesson. You can't pull it off if you don't have the health. Um, oh, yeah, he had a lot more health than I did. And really, Sidious got one turn that whole fight, right? Um... He did the one AoE, and his cooldowns are reset every turn, and I only did the one special. So mine, so even though mine was faster, that, that wasn't important. And even though mine had more starting health, he had way more effective health from the Kron. Okay. All right. Zero plus. Good lesson. Um, maybe, I, maybe I JML the DTMG. I don't know. One drop... Um, not enough health. 
on Sidious Cron. Aim for fifty mm, percent. Good lesson. All right. How do we wish to recover? Hmm. <laughs> well, I'm sure Bane could do it, but I wanted to do Bane somewhere else. <laughs> I'm told Bane Sass works here. Let's try that. If I'm going to do my sciencing, I'd rather do it now. Because I'm already up one round from my freebie. So if I lose, then I had better have science on my side. Don't really need the Bane Cron, I think. But it's nice. How do we want to do this? Um, you'd want to make sure. Can't, can't be resisted. So it can be evaded. So we do have the incentive to try and do the first, um, the, the first special. Okay, let's give this a go. For science! If we die, we die. Okay, so hear me out. No buffs. Get. Okay. Okay. Now, I see you have this on. Um, would this dispel First Order and Sith? A. That's nice, because then I won't be blinded when I want to do this. Okay, so you get to evade this, but I still get the health stack for my trouble. I wouldn't call it wasted time. She's already below. Okay. Demands is over there like that. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Hey, you can't do that. Shoot him or something. Uh, womp womp. Okay. Okay. I see you. Okay. Uh, sure, let's get all these debuffs off you. Um, I'd like to save this. He's going to get some health stack from that, though. And increase cooldowns, but it actually won't hit because of all the foresight, so... Probably not the most worth. Okay, no debuffs to be concerned with. Just get to slapping, folks. Straight up. Straight up stuff. Wob, 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 wob. Okay. 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 That feels better? Okay. Wob, 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 wob. Okay. Yes. It's, uh, it feels good, man. Yeah, you won't. Yeah. Okay. So you're already low. So basic, if I kill you with that, you can't come back now. Because that's what it says. No revive. You get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. All right. Almost there. Stay on target. Wob, 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 wob. That'll do. 55. Okay. 55. Ooh, ooh, that reminds me. You know, Renee was uh, talking to me about this earlier, and I owe Renee a character review, don't I? Uh, let's see here. Hmm. Where was that in the chat? Hold on, hold on. Yes, some of the science works. It's nice when, when that happens occasionally. Okay. There's your code. Okay, let's take care of this. Um, there's a 55. That's good to know. Okay, um... This is the account? 
Really? Okay. Anko? It's the Anko account? Alright. Uh, you gonna try that counter now, Duckstep? Nice, dude. Enjoy. Um, let's see here. It was bomb, uh, Boombadir. Boombadir. Gungan Boombadir. Okay, here, let's put this up on screen. Okay, so, Relic 8, 287 speed, 66k health, 70k prot. I like the... I thought you would want him to be in a prot primary, though, wouldn't you? Okay, so... 8, 9, 8, 6, physical offense, crit damage. Crit, crit chance is... Crit chance is sub 80% in a crit damage set with a two-piece of crit chance. I, I would prefer it to see just, just over 80 so it's not a lot to ask of this set, so it can, it can be done. This set is mostly just 6E, like, there's a lot of room to grow these mods for sure. Um, yeah, it looks potentially nasty. It's so tough to see without the benefit of the full team, but, yeah. Anybody trying this out for themselves? Like, anybody actually unlock all three of the available Gungans and doing anything with it? I, I've heard... Um, I've heard it actually raffle stumps a couple things, but I don't know. It's probably not enough to for me to want to go in on. Still, I was curious. All right, uh, you pulled two thirty today. You pulled two thirty. What do you mean two thirty? What do you mean you pulled two? Th oh, you pulled two thirty shards. You got a lucky pull from the thing. Yeah. Okay, man. I feel that. Yeah, well, I mean, it's a nice kit, and there's certainly a lot of room to grow. Um, some of these secondaries, I'm not sure about, but it's also tough to say. Still, not bad. Yeah, 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 his shark pack, yeah. All right, back on over to the show. So, what do we want to do about this here, guy? Um, DTMGs. Do, do. I'm gonna filter this out here. Yeah, I guess I'll bring it back to the desktop for you guys. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Defense leads. I need to be reminded of all my options from last season. Malgus? Does Malgus work? Malgus will probably handle the preload fairly well. I already did save that up there. Okay, defending data cross say yes, this one. Do 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 do. Okay, no longies. JMK DRBSF Malik seventy percent. Really? Interesting. Eighty three percent with Malik DRBSF, okay. So that might have to be the way. Malik, Malik, um, Malik, Malik, BR. Yeah, I can see actually that being superior. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Why is it sort of... Hmm, okay, sheer battle count is why. How do I wish to proceed? I don't want to use slacker here. I don't like it. All right. I think we are going to do Malgus. Malgus is well qualified to step into a preload. DR is great for banner restoration. We'll still rock... Um, crit avoidance. Crit avoidance? Hmm. Not tenacity, I think. Crit avoidance feels like it's the right move. This has some deflection besides. It's not a ton of special damage. It's not a bad idea, though. Malgus, Malik, DR, but DR was dead pretty much the entire fight. I got you. Pa too. I think we'll try and make this work. Let's 
It's got to be able to deal with the preload. Okay. Yes. Shoot him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. So, uh, come on and slam and welcome to the jam. Come on and slam if you want to jam. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and dispel your offense. And begin the lock, boys. Uh, we'll just... Not a lot of value in hitting him here, is there? Why don't we hit you instead? Let him lose his turn to fear. Likewise, with you. That's fine. Alright, now... I guess it makes sense, since we didn't force him to otherwise go. Oh, yeah. See, you can't be doing that real casual like that. It's disrespectful. Uh... Again, I don't... Mm, I do want him to have the taunt, though, so we'll go ahead and burn that there. Okay, so we're going to be fine, is the bottom line. Mm, no reason to bother with the middle there. Okay, ow. Hey, leave Brittany alone, damn it. I was wrong. I should have used the middle so that he had the taunt. <laughs> Please allow me to get around to a lightning storm. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Uh... Doink. Okay. Banner recovery. Yes. Alright, now it's all about stalling. Um, that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Deflected. Nice, actually. We're going to see if we can get around to another lightning storm. That would be the goal. There it is. There, I mean, if I don't just straight up bonk him out of existence here. Which uh, there's a chance of. Yeah, okay. So it would have been a 56. All right. Yeah, I mean, you, know, you learn. Okay. Malagus Malik DR. More than equal to the task. What do you guys think about Treya versus this Kellerin thing? Yes, there's true. It'd be Treya, Nihilus, Savage. Um, yes, you'd have the max health reduction stuff from Mace, but the idea here is this team's going to be doing a lot of attacking out of turn and stuff like that, so I'm hoping that we're able to just whoop them on down, yeah? <clears throat> and then this one is so tempting to me. It's so tempting to me to run Bad Batch here, because I don't know where else I'm going to use them. But this, this would be, this would be the way, this would be the time. And if we were going to do that, how would you see it done? You'd want crit damage for quick kill? I mean, it's mostly about the true damage, so you're trying really not to get bopped yourself. Crit avoidance is nice. Potency baked into the kit doesn't hurt anybody, but this one looks very attractive, actually. This is the one that I like to use with um, Leia, though, so I think I'll avoid that. Potency, some tenacity. Their resistance, crit avoidance, and deflection. Um, the resistance and the deflection are largely wasted. But this level 6 is not super desirable. Um, and it is the largest single amount of crit avoidance. Which I guess is our best mitigation. The idea here is that we, we merely need to survive the opening hit from JKA. And I think we can make that happen here. So let's give it a go. I'm willing to take this risk. You think the Treya thing works, Kyle? Yeah, I, I think it does too. All right, so we immediately get to do the Dispel. Tech is out there, and the game is afoot. Um, how do we wish to proceed? Ideally, we trade here, and then we kill Qui-Gon with JKA at the bottom of his turn meter just having used his AoE to open. So it's everything's according to plan right now. Yeah, we, this is the time. This is the time. You want to kill him right now. Right now. Not now, but right now. Okay. Your, your shit's gone. Okay, you're just some guy now. Man. Cam's not just some guy, though. Cam's like... Er, er, man. Ah, oh, Cam's gonna hurt so damn bad. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for not slaying him. Ooh, okay. Okay, okay. I'm cool. You're cool. We're all cool. How are you? Please kill him. Kill him! Thank you. Now him. Stop it. Uh, yeah, so we don't get, like, absolute giga banners here, but it'll have to do. 
Yes, 55 is an agreeable price for not having to use JML. Which now brings us to the option of JML versus Cal, I guess, right? Here I am fretting, and we've just opened up the path. Good, good. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, that Keller thing. I feel like I feel like Treya will do it. What does that leave me that I care about? I mean, I guess. Does DRBSF Savage fall to JML? <laughs> yeah, it does. It does. It does. It's not bad. It's not bad. Okay, so. Well, for Saw here, we were going to do uh, JMK anyway, I think, was the plan. But were, weren't people doing this with JML last season? Am I crazy? I know we were using uh, Afra, and that was an 80% win with the Kron last season with the Afra Kron. Nah, we ain't doing that. We won't. I won't be doing that. Okay. So, JML... JKL, JKR can do it, I see. Look at this. The essence of success is the JKR, because you get your savior off that. You could full heal with Hoda. I can see it. I can see it all before me. Wow. Thank you for the bidding. Look how important the JKR is here. That's significant. Hey, Canada, appreciate you, man. Thank you for the couple hundred biddies. 200 biddies. Thank you kindly. Too much of a pain in the ass to take this hat on and off, so I'm just going to you know, tip you the tip of the hat. All right. Um, this JML Hoda JKR thing intrigues me because then it's like, what, Bastila, Jedi Cal, JKL? Bastila, Jedi Cal, Joe Lee. Yeah. I remember that working. But he's got Sith up there on that Malgus and shit. It ain't like the last time. How much does that matter? Alright, let's let's dig back into that. If we use JML here, I like that. It still means that there's, you know, like Treya for Cal. We'd have JMK and Leia going into the back wall, not to mention Slacker. Now, we need some serious threats to deal with this top wall. Like, I originally liked Treya, but I know I did Raddus at least once last season against this, against Aiden. I just never want to mess with it. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at this, Kron. What are we actually dealing with? So you got death benefit. As long as... Hmm... Whenever enemies are damaged at the start of their turn, Sith allies gain 2% turn meter. This would require damage over time. There's no one on this team that inflicts damage over time. So this isn't like the worst case level 6. And then whenever Saths gains stealth. So 2 out of her 3 abilities grant stealth. So she'll be pushing. What it means is it, she's going to middle first and she'll be in stealth. She'll use her third, which will not grant stealth. And then she'll come out of stealth. And then she'll basic. And the act of her going back into uh, doing that should have her be able to use her stealth special immediately thereafter. And she's going to be push and turn meter like it. So that's, that's the game plan. The idea would be to force Malgus to outpace your Jedi Cal team and maybe get him to do an, an extra dunk before he'd otherwise die, and that might get you. That might screw you up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, to say nothing of the health, Duck Stab. 77% added health. You got me there. That makes him like look like a really good C target or something, man. I don't know, man. Yeah, Tuscans, I know Bam's going to tear that up. Yeah, we've. Uh, what is your deal, real quick? Yeah, I feel you. This is this is the good good. This is the gooderest good of all of the goods. God, that's a nasty one. We really can't let them take turns. That's a badass team. DRBSF Savage with the Sith Crumb. What's your deal, man? Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. Baby, what's going on, man? Good to see you. What's poppin'?
<sighs> okay. I th think I see a path. So, if Treya fails, we've got a real serious problem. You can ignore Taunt, which is bad for business. But what do I care? You're not doing a ton of debuffs. Yeah, but you're gonna make my Treya huge. You're gonna make Treya huge! Um, I'm willing to try it. Gotta take risks. We do it for the people, for science, for the good of us all. Yeah, I don't actually have any more of that, of the Sith Krons, but it wasn't that that I really wanted anyway, right? It was actually this. Um, Dark Sider. Yeah, this, this will do. It's not the most crit avoidance on Earth, I guess. But, um... I'm hoping it'll be enough. There's a lot of crit avoidance baked into the team with Trey and Nihilus both having crit avoidance arrows and then Savage just being a bigger boy. So we'll see what happens. Him being protection modded still is actually pretty advantageous where you're going to have Maul chopping down max health. So not bad. All right. Please don't kill him. All right, um, who is it that you would like to kill? Well, so isolating him is probably good. He won't be able to do the mass assist and call people. I think that's the, the intuition. Because he'll end up wanting to do stuff, and now he won't really be able to do anything that I care about. Uh, I guess we end up chopping you down. Let's just keep the wagon train moving, shall we? Okay. That's fine. Alright. You're a bigger boy. I get it. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, I think we're just in the smiting assholes business. Uh. That's my story. Yeah. This is good. Don't do stuff. I forbid you. Stub it. Uh, you're not under half health anymore, so I can't just smite you the way I preferred. Maybe this doinks you a little bit. Not quite. Ooh, that was actually a pretty damn big hit there from Kel. Okay. Uh, yep, we'll take a little bit of extra stone aging, if you don't mind. Ooh, we lost our Treya. We're in trouble now. Ooh, we so in trouble now. Hmm. You have your taunt back at least for even just a moment? Okay. I really wish you would get the turn meter to come back and slap him out of existence. Ooh, wait, no, we'll take that. Right there. Yeah, you come here. You gib. Gib. Give me your no, stop it. Why won't you just die? It would be better if you did. Stop it. Stop it. Ah, shit. Okay. Well, the good news is, um, it won't stop me forever. Now they're just two jerks. So Treya is not good. Um, if I had another Sithkron with the ignore taunt... What would I have changed? Well, first of all, well, if we had the prod up on level 3, the prod up would be pretty easily dispelled by Ahsoka, and the, the dispel hits before the damage, so that would suck. That said, though, these guys don't have the benefit of the 9 anymore, and no leads, so... Ta -ta 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 -ta. If there are no play, all other galactic... Mm. I wonder if this actually still takes effect. We'll see how much that happens. Um, all right, Trey and I is Seth. So we learned something good there. One plus comment. One drop. Manage to kill Cal, but their damage ramped fast, and they took out. 
Freya after her third turn. Okay, so that's a good one to know. How will I deal with you now? You two jerks. There's no tenacity down. There is shatter point, which isn't great for Wampa, I guess. Should kind of just fall over though. No, we'll worry about it in a minute. That's the wrong thing to fret about. So, I'm really just not inclined to mess around, and I can find a good use for JML elsewhere. If JML for any reason doesn't pan out, then it would cost me JMK anyway. So, I don't think I want to do it. Um, this team is... How much of this are we depending on actually doing damage versus how much is it about actually surviving? So, I don't even think I have a, a wealth of good Jedi Crons, even if I wanted to. We can have a quick look at it, but realistically, I think it's better to go set 13. Yeah, the product's okay. The death benefit's okay, but I'm not really trying to have anybody die. And this is only so-so here. That, that one I actually want to have for JML. So, okay, that's fine. Um, look at it from the other way. Crit damage set 13, yeah? Woo! That's a big one. Who is that for? Oh, yeah, that was Qui-Gon's Kron last season. Okay, well, hey. Welcome to the show, boys. Um, do I really want that for you? Who else is light side that really wants just some kicking, freaking crit damage? JKL, I guess. Uh, dash. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to miss it too much. All right. Let us be about our business. Yeah. Do you see here? Callan Fulcrum versus that, but Grandmaster for t uh, after Sid failed. Okay. I see. I see you. That's an interesting thought. Um... Okay, so you're going to be stuck behind Taunt here regardless. So how do you wish to proceed? I, I, there's no revival mechanics, so what do I care? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now you're pushed back a little bit. And that's just the way it is. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Mm hmm. Just a basic, if you please. <sighs> Might have to take the smite on him and just run with it, yeah? We'll consign ourselves to having to work down the others. But I don't want to deal with this shit anymore. Okay, see? Yeah, that's the, that's the kind of shit I'm not trying to deal with. That kind right there. Okay, so what do we want to do? Do we want to take the money and run? He's going to be able to trade you back real quick. Um, but what does that actually mean for you? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Let's see, because the fire is about to pop, yeah? And then this would be really a beneficial time for him to be healed. Because we're getting close. We're getting close to this all popping off. It's zero stacks, or when removed. Hmm. We still have a savior, so let's rely on our one savior to save us. Okay. Okay. Um, you there. Smite? Hmm. Ideally, smite you. But it's okay if it's just the two of us. Yeah. So be it. Ooh, that was potentially mean. Alright, so the fire popped. 
finish him quickly. Um, hmm. <laughs> we'll do this. Yes. Okay. That was the droid we were looking for. Now you just pushed my cooldowns back again, didn't you, you bastard? Okay, you didn't. How are we looking? Uh, we're looking like I would prefer JMK to do a third. Ideally. Yeah, Alright, 57 is still good. 57 is the, uh... Is A-OK. -okay. Alright, how do I want to deal with these two jerks? Wampa feels like such a waste. Want it to be high banner, though. No. What you want to do is put him down quickly. Put him down quickly. Now, who's going to do that? I'm willing to bet that Womp is still okay. Question is, is would I wish I had Wampa for anything else? That's a good choice. What about Imperial Trooper? Unlikely to be used. Veer's Dark Pian. Give him an Empire, but maybe not a 400%, because I actually don't really want to lose anyone. The problem is, is that we're going to lose a bunch of banners on that, aren't we? But I guess that's something we could bear, but... This one's okay. That might actually be useful to us. Let's do it. Okay, a little bit of turn meter action. So what, the turn meters are already high. I say basic. Yeah. Mm. There we go. And. And. 35. So two banners lost, but it's okay. One banner lost. Right? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so dropping on two teams is worse than dropping on one team twice. So we had a worse front wall than him, so we'll have to hope that, you know, everything else doing okay elsewhere is enough of a difference. Um Why do you like this game? Alright, there we go. So what's he got back here? It's not a ton of GL, so that's good. That means, that does give me a bit of breathing room. So he's got Bam, he's got a Maul with, oh, with a... I have to think about this Maul team. Look at this team. Look at this rare duck. What are you up to here, TJ, you schemey bastard? What are you doing? Hmm. We'll see if he ends up coming in here. Okay, let's map this out. We've got quite a bit of material, so hopefully we don't just royally screw this up. Um, 
all want paws. Okay. Amhan Chewy. Haven't seen that one in a bit. Um, Trench. Dooku. Sunfang. Okay. With the trench crop. Can't be, can't be treating it too light. Hera. Okay, I've seen this. Now, isn't there something really easy for this? I remember this being something that I set once in the past and being like, oh my god, somebody used what to kill it? I won't be doing that again. So I have to look that up. Uh, Dash Vandor L3. Okay, some of the classics. With what? What do you got here? Just a bunch of offense? Some offense at home. It's just a whatever cron is what it is. Okay. All right, guys. Um, first a moment to assess. What what do I actually have? I know I have Han Chewie. I have, God, four GLs still. Oof. Uh, Afra Seer Malikos. Full Star Killer. I don't have assigned yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's see now about what kind of data you got there, bud. Um, Maul. Somebody did this pause thing and a want thing. Yeah, what, what is this? What is this magic? And what kind of cron you, you, you're wielding the pause cron? Move it over to desktop view for you guys, my bad. Mm -hmm. I don't know what his level 6 was. Bonus. Mm -hmm. Bonus is actually pretty clever. Mandalorian ally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No onlys on this team. Alright, what were you all doing? Yeah, Jaw was last season. That was last time, though. Last time was the last time. Slacker. Potential. Mm -hmm. I can see it. Seer. Yeah, okay. All right, so so basically, people came at this with respect, is the is the answer. Uh, interesting. Okay, so we'll say right now something like Seer or Slacker. Bam Han Chewy, I also don't remember much on. We'll check that one out. Oh. Hmm. And that was the one with just the whatever crown, was it? If you take Slacker, make sure you take Hux. Um... For the purpose of denying the turn meter gain from Frenzy. I think I saw people taking like armor and crew. And I have crew on defense. So immediately I was thinking armor or what. It's like... But... To, hmm. 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 See, I, I'll, I'll, I take your point. I see why you're saying it. I'll, I'll think about that. That's a good one, though. Yeah, stop the frenzy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. What's going on, Ash? Good to see you in the chat, man. Um, ba, 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 ba. What are we going to do here? We can go back to this. Yeah, JKR against Bam Han Chewy. Yeah, that's a classic, of course. Star Killer. What was really great banners? Uh, JKR... Bamhan Chewy Mirror, that's funny. Aiden, but I don't think I have Aiden. I think I put mine on defense. Okay, so like... Mm, JKR or something like that. Trench Dooku Sunfak. Um, my gut tells me I kind of just get to manhandle that a little bit. Attack out of turn, remove TM. Whenever they are dispelled. Okay. Okay, I see you. Um, maybe JKR there, something like that. Like, we can just go right on in after Trench, and then he can just kind of eat it. 
There's no tech to restore him. Should be okay. Dash. I don't know. Need something. Yeah, the Hera one I really do want to look up, though. Because the memory is tickled on that one. Defensive homies, this one, and go. What'd you guys do? Tell me all about it. Qui-Gon, Padme, Padme, for real. Padme Ahsoka record, wow. Wow. For real? God, that's insulting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Malik Solo. Wow, what were you doing with this? This was a product. No, it wasn't even Prada, man. This is just you just you just disrespect their house is what you do here. Oh yeah. Yeah, you went with stacking offense on this one. This one was a crappy set three. Stacking offense. Yeah. Misa. Misa like a dis. Okay, so potentially Padme, Ahsoka, and Wrecker. Interesting. So Wrecker will be able to make him get Taunt with his third, but he won't have Furious for a while. So no stun off of his third. Not that we should need it. I think. Yeah, yeah, it's the... It's the courage that makes it work. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, I like the look of that. That's a good one. How will, she, uh, how will Afra be applied? Afra maybe on Finn. What about DRBSF Savage, though? So I had to use Malgus. Um, mm, Jedi Cal's got to go somewhere. Malgus, Sith Marauder, and Sass. If it is Malgus with 77% health, that's exactly the kind of thing you want to be able to take out with Jedi Kill. Now, we could rock the prod up, but will it save us? Yeah, C's a, a sure thing, and I believe that in my bones. No problem. Wow, what an incredible risk to take JKL lead without, like... Wow, how did you even do this? Yeah, you didn't have the benefit of the big health, though. They didn't have this last time. So there's, like, nuclear bomb stuff going on with that. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. I need to see in my mind where the GLs go. Because I'm used to thinking without them. Got to be precise in threes. Right. <sighs> JMLC, Slacker, and Leia. So Leia was reserved for the biggest, baddest bad. Um, I mean, I guess I could probably do something like Slacker for Aiden. Something obscene of that kind. Maybe. Uh, Trench. Nah, I don't care about that. Dash, Vandor, Bamhan, ba ba ba, Malpaz. Yeah, that's true. So probably Seer, Malikos, Fulcrum. Yeah, something like that. I think for Mal. Okay, DRBSF Savage. So S S SLKR does actually quite well with that. Um,. What else was dunking on it last season? Did I have a tab pulled up? I, I'm good. Good, I did. Afra was 91%, but that's with all the goods. Plus, yeah. She lost her Kron and DR gained a Sith Kron. So they get to ignore. Well, you don't really have Taunt on the team, so that's not really a factor. Yeah, but you got to be able to get through. Can't miss about. 
It's like Dano says, you mess about, you find out, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Hmm. JKR, JKL, Jedi Cal, 53. That makes sense. You just go in on BSF. JKR Bastila. Yeah, I can believe that. Bastila Jedi Cal. Yeah, that's a bit of a risk. And JML Hoda, that's right. We didn't plan on having JML Hoda here. I don't think I have a Jedi No Revive to give. Okay. So Jedi Cal's off the menu. I think Malgus is, or I think C. Yeah. Yeah, I think Malgus is just gonna get C. C something. Um, I don't want to take the risk. Like, you can do it solo, but I'm not going to be doing that. I'm going to throw him in with somebody. Maybe Shore. Maybe Piggy. I don't know. Something like that. Bamquil, I11, uh, IG11 for the Tuscans. Afra for that. SLKR for this. Um... Okay, and then we actually have to suss out the other little ones. So Leia goes where? Leia and JML go where? JML maybe for Dash Vandor? Um, I don't know. It's not quite the way I'd like it. All right. Uh, let me go ahead and take a couple minutes break here. Read your previous messages for turns. That'll happen straight off. Stop frenzy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tank tech on pause. Trigger frenzy. Uh, yes, that's right. It would. Mall middle. Pause assist twice due to cron. Pause go. Then mall five stack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I can see it, dude. I can see it. I see what you're talking about, Striker. Yeah, I think... I think I think Sir Malikos is a fine way to go there, right? I hope so. We can talk about it. Anyway, I'm going to take a quick break here and restart uh, Blue Stacks. I'll be back in just a couple. Appreciate your patience, guys. Thanks for tuning in.
right, right. Coming back. <sighs> Shields up. Weapons online. Alright, I think the way that I want to do this is do the fights that I know I'm going to do the way I'm going to do them and see if anything changes based on that. Do the for sure for sures. Yeah, I see that now. I do see that. There's a couple options. Alright, up north we go. Go see mom. Okay. Go see mom. Stacking offense. Um, okay, Bam Queel IG eleven. Alright, let's roll. Who do we want to target off of this? I mean we, we targeted Warrior before and everybody just kind of fell over. That's the way I remember it going, so let's see it. Let's see it. Right, right. So, um, yeah. One, two, three, up, up. Nice. Nice. Ish. Ish. Sixteen. Just waiting for it. Okay, you. A A. <laughs> All right, good. Worked as as planned. Fifty five. Right. Um, how does Star Killer get applied here? Truthfully. Small Watt Paws, that is an interesting one. Fifty one, fifty three. Wow. Hmm. Maybe I'll put Leia there. We can move Seer Malikos to something else. Anything else. <clears throat> Leia, Drogon, R2. That looks like it's by far the nastiest team not accounted for in the plan. Um, yeah, I mean, that could be an answer for Aiden. Dash Vandor. It's a classic. Do do do. Defending data crime, yes. Defense only, yes. Okay. Here, take a look at the filter here. Uh, JKR, yeah, that's a classic. JKR Grandmaster Jolie, right? You would uh, mark, turn, swap, all of it. It makes sense. Okay. J.K. Bastila. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a classic. I like that a lot. Um, mm -hmm. Boss Grief Mando. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Um, Crit Avoidance Prod Up Mando Cron, actually. Boss Grief Mando. Probably the superior choice. That's awesome. 
Trench Dooku's Sun Fag. Wampa took it out last time. Star Killer. Proper Star Killer. This is a very rarely seen composition. Wampa. What about this would discourage the use of Wampa? Talk to me now. So I guess we shut all that down with like Star Killer. So EP Marjade Star Killer. Uh, Bam Han Chewy, yeah, I don't know. JKR or something. What was the Hera? Yeah, 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 the Hera one. Let's do this. This one was supposed to be fun. Have a little fun with this one. Why is that so dark? Anyway, oops, wrong button. That's the right button. There we go. Brightness is back too. Okay. Padme, Soka, and Wrecker, right? That was the recipe. We'll run it with Prod Up. I guess a little crit avoidance wouldn't help. Or, sorry, wouldn't hurt, rather. Potency is okay. That's the uh, Leia one. This will suffice. All right, let's have it. Do it! Okay, okay. Um, people who need to die. So you, you might be tempted to go after Krex first, but I feel like you want to go after the leader. And that's, that's what I'm going for. Oh yeah, that's a big one. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. Almost. Stay on target. Oh, wow. Am I really going to use all that right here? I guess I probably am. Um, don't want to risk any type of failure. So we just have to go through the cycle again, right? Like, as long as we've got the goods. Oh, yeah, we get to use that. That's nice. Stack up here. You cool. Yes. Good. We're actually going to be on time. Um, there's no point in doing the mass assist here, though. Right? Because we're still dazed. So we just got to be real cool, real calm. Mm -hmm. Leave Brittany alone. Okay, get him. Mm -hmm. Acceptable. Okay, I see you. Uh, uh, that's fine. Taunt up. Okay, that's fine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Start working through. Okay. Give a minor shield here. Still, yes. We'll be on time. Perfect. Take all these buffs away. Give them a big hit. Get out of here. 56. Beautiful. Beautiful value. Furthermore. All right. Well, oh. 
how am I going to screw this up? E.P. Mara Jade Star Killer, and eh? hmm. One specific cron that I like. Uh, that one's okay. This one's okay. I uh, must have already used it somewhere. Hmm. Four hundred percent's not my favorite. I guess I'd rather use this one. Oh, oh! I know what I did. I set the the normal one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what I did. Damn. Well, that's fine. I don't want to take the lower survivability. <laughs> Be a little like Fonzie. What's Fonzie like? He's cool. That's right. All right, I'm you. Yep, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, how to proceed? We want the 10 down. That means there's going to be other turns, though. We could be greedy. What kind of tenacity basis do you have? You don't. Delicious. Nutritious. Interesting. You're still fast, aren't you? 330. Not too fast. So how does that relate? It's not enough. Two of you can go. Yeah. Alright, let's play it. I think I want to do the 10 down. I know, it's tough to say. Yeah, see, that shit, is, that shit does have to go, though. Uh, fastest of them all would be you. Let's go for it. Okay, okay, okay. Not my fave. Okay. Okay. Um, hmm. No basis, really, to stun. Might go for this for the kill. Yeah, doesn't seem like that's a bad plan. It's bussing. I cannot believe. Uh... Okay, basic, slam. Basic, slap. Yep, yep, yep. Boy, you ain't nothing. Get out of here. Get out of my house. Get off my plane. Um, yes. I mean, nothing's going to stop us from kind of overwhelming you before it's all over. Yeah. Yeah, basically nothing. Like, you're just going to die. So, that's fine. Sew it up. Call it a 56 and move on. Okay. 56, 56. The Dash Vandor, great for boss grief. I like that one. Prod up. No revive. Not that the no revive is really critical here, but I like this cron. This is a nice cron. The prod up is so good. Especially for stuff like this where there's AoE damage involved. Okay. Mm hmm. Hmm. So if we cleanse here, and you can do this, and then there is no dispelling that really in a way that matters, but we do want this off. So we take that, we go with you, get the double hit. Um, we do this for the sake of pushing turn meter. I've made this mistake too many times before. We, we've really got the opportunity to push turn meter with uh, Mando's Unique. And I want to be sure I do that. Okay, now you just chill. So we can basic you, put in some free, free hits. Alright, well, now we're back to just obeying the rules. Uh, there's another one. Mm-hmm. 
stuck here. Almost there. Stay on target. Okay. Alright, this should be it. If this is it, ooh, wow. Okay, uh, I gained 50% turn meter. 50% turn meter puts me out ahead of dash, so I'll be able to snipe him if I do this. And I do want to do this. Um, do we take the extra turn meter? I don't really see the need. We'll go ahead and taunt instead. And to you, die? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, now we'll have that turn meter. Come on back around now, you here. That's fine. Step right up. Don't be shy. We're just pushing turn meter out here. Mm -hmm. And now we'll put it on auto. Let it ride into the sunset. Fantastic. Yeah, that Mando Kron is fun. Rarely useful, because bounty hunters themselves are rarely useful, but... a Alright, 57. We're making our way. He's got quite a bit for offense. I'm very surprised. <sighs> TJ kept more for offense. Out of either fear or respect... He was wise to be afraid. Where are you, TJ? Come attack me. Fight me, boy. Get out of the gym. Get out of the shower. Lather yourself up in olive oil. And get on camera. You know? Whoa! Oh, I just saw a Discord here, Ash. Nice job on that score, putting up a 2064 on your opponent. Nice job, man. Solid work. Good job. Damn. All right, um, the DRBSF Savage thing. Cancel this, come back over here. Why was it 100%? You were using Arapen, you were using Doubt. It didn't matter. It didn't matter was the point of the exercise. And it looks like it was never even close for anyone. So if we can go with like a dark side crit damage, I would be very pleased. All right. Um, ooh, that was a bit of a hesitation, a bit of a, bit of a hiccup. What incentive have I to run Slacker solo here? Is it not better for me that I take along Faust and Hux? Because I could do, like, Stab, and then Middle from Hux, then do Swipe with Slacker, and then Reset with Hux and Swipe, like that. Something like that. I feel like we have very little incentive to try and mess around. We've already had a couple drops to ourselves, so. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Hey, kitty. What's going on, sweet boy? You fat beast. Sweet fat beast. So, slacker. The stacking offense could be dangerous, so... I feel right. I feel right to be cautious. Cat, it is not pets time. You sweet fat beast. It is not pets time. It is Star Wars. Yes, I know you enjoy them. I understand that. All right, looks like this is the finest we have to the purpose. That is also a doubt, which is what we're going for. So let's have that. Yes, sweet beast. That is what you are. You are a sweet beast. That's right. Sweet fat creature. Um, 
We'll actually take the opportunity to get the... How do you really want to do this, bro? Let's go like this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, no, no ragurts. No ragrets. And now we'll have this. Womp womp. This was the droid we were looking for. Could have been an opportunity to gain banners, but... Mm. Now, I'm thinking Aphra still works here, because you have a lot of AoE in the mix. Right? How do we want to do this? Um, crit damage is okay. I think straight up offense would be very interesting. Is there something that's kind of free to the purpose? So we don't get the death benefit here, but we have prod up, which is kind of nice. It's an extreme good bit of offense in there. It is also one of the only dark side. I see they're both with this, and this one has offense. Yeah, I think we're going to cook with you, my dude. All right. Let's see what we got here. Now, if we went with Doubt, we could... I mean, that does... I mean, wow, Doubt would do a lot. Um, so, I mean, you'd still want that to be crit damage. Crit damage, Dark Sider, Doubt. It's going to get down towards the limits. So, I mean, the potency is okay there, but yeah. No, I think we just go for the Clobber. All of them have to be below 100%. Which brings us to the topic of... This won't kill. It can't kill. But it will Stone Age's cooldowns, which I'm kind of into. So that's fine. You can't kill because not everybody's been under 100%. So now we rectify that problem. Get out of my house. Get off my play. The plan worked. All right, 57. Malgus, Sith Marauder, and Sass. Lots and lots and lots and lots of turns. So, C is ideal for this purpose. Um, especially if we might be able to outfit him with a Sith tank. <laughs> okay, um, Sith tank one. Do we bring a second character? I think the answer is no. I think the answer is no. I think the answer is no need. I also think there's little to gain by not having a second character here. Because what's going on? Yeah, this ain't going to be so much. The, the cycling of the turns actually helps see. So I'm less worried about that. The question is, does Scion die off rip? And if he does, how foolish would I feel to not have any kind of other tank? Um, we could take a Dark Sider, of course. You know what? Let's take Piggy, for old time's sake. Because that's a 77% health Malgus, so I need, I need the fight not to run away from me early, and I think two tanks is the way to cover my ass. I, I, it's rare that I drop a C fight, but when I do, it is almost always because I, I thought I could do without, and I really needed to actually have it. So. This one's okay. Can we change the Harrison impression of get off my plane and throw in a Clint? Get off my lawn. Ah, that was a good movie. That was a good movie. Talk about Gran Torino? That was a good movie. Bring me another beer, dragon lady. Just things you can't say if you're not an old man. <laughs> All right, let's go.
Um, strictly speaking, Sass will be one of the quickest ones going, but we want to link Malgus for obvious reasons, and then Sith Marauder because he is an asshole who does lots and lots of damage, and it would be really cool if he didn't get critical strikes. Science, kind of nice here. We'll take some of the edge out of this attack. Um, yeah, actually, not having doubt himself, we can benefit Scion with some prot there. Not bad. Okay. okay. Everybody's being real cool, real chill. Appreciate you. Everybody just be calm. I'm cool. You're cool. We're all cool. Everybody's cool. <laughs> Striker. Yes, one of the all-time class. Get that shit off our lawn! Uh, or was it off my lawn? I can't remember. But iconic line. Just absolutely iconic. Do I go for the greed here? Because there won't be a ton of opportunity to restore that prop, but them taking turns isn't really to my benefit either. Yeah, I think we'll take it, because we can't actually restore Prot onto Piggy either way, so. Alright. So knowing what I know now, could definitely have gotten away with just one tank. Because uh, he opened up with the dunk on Scion, and Scion was kind of like, eh. Scion is a big boy, but I didn't think he was going to do that well with it, so. Piggy does feel like kind of a waste, but... Don't, uh... Don't take risks, unless you're trying to get foreclosed on out here. It's actually a pretty thick assassin, all things considered. Alright. 55. Not bad. Come on now, TJ. Come on out the shadows now, you hear. You can come on out now. What did I do to this last season? Yeah, 400% resistant. Good, and got some crypto. He's, he's got some stuff. I mean, it's, uh, it's not for nothing. Um, I can look up Iden real quick. Iden range. to use Malga, so I can't do that. Yeah, alright. Radis Gen SRP. Let's, um, let's go for it. I remember this being pretty good to us last season. The, the trick to remember is you, um, ooh, shit, did I already use her, Kron? Ooh, shit. Hmm. Not the turn meters one, but it's okay. So this would be the ideal. What do we want stat-wise? We want crit avoidance again. It's not a prod up. So this is probably the best we can do. How much turn meter are we losing? Hmm. I don't know how good that really is. Alright, we'll take this. Yeah, I feel like that'll be more impactful. The Murtaugh impression cracked me up though. Alright, so let's see if I can remember how this fight goes. The, again, the key is to make sure you have your special rebel buff before you pop off hope. Please don't kill me. Leave me alone. Stop it. Stop it. Please step it. Okay, so how do we wish to proceed? Um, might as well. 
We, I've been punished so many times by getting cute and thinking that I could, when I in fact could not, do this. Uh, we could get rid of all of our debuffs this way. Is that really worth it, or do we want to buff up for the sake of revive? We can't heal for a couple of years, but I'm not really worried about that. Let's take the, let's take the buffs. Um, ideally, we'd hit the person with the highest TM. I mean, keeping you locked down is always to the good, so if we can get it. We didn't get it, but we did get, um, yeah, we want to hit him because he's, uh, she's days two, but it doesn't matter if we hit her, so we will continue to hit him. Um, I mean, I guess. What are we looking at debuff-wise? They're probably about to do more, so... Save the cooldown? Eh, shake the cooldown. Activate a little bit of the love. Now we have to come all the way back around. Um, for his middle again. So two more turns until we middle then hope, probably. That's what I'm thinking. Hey, don't you dare hit him. Leave him alone. Get away from him. Stop that. Hey, stop it. Stop it. Okay. Mildly stressful. Only mildly. Okay, this is it, right? This is it. If this is it, ooh, wop. No? Not, not quite? Hmm. Um, all right. How do you want to proceed? Do this. Push this around to him. Come on. You need to nuke that, and now you're mine. Yeah. Yeah. It worked. It worked. 57. We're through the gate, gentlemen. And what lies behind for us? What lurks in the shadows, fleet-wise? Mm, our dear friends. Our very dear friends. Okay. Executor. Malevolence. And Radis. So, how would I like to proceed? Radis, we know we can use Tarkin. Um, that one's actually a very fun fight. So I think we're going to do Executrix there. Malevolence will get Negotiator. And Executor will get Profundity. I think that will be the fleet plan when we come to it. We'll do fleet last, though. Come out, come out, wherever you are, TJ. Have you attacked more? You have not attacked more. Two more! Fight me! Okay, two teams left. Um, I actually think I have two GLs, right? Yeah? Hmm. So, I do. I do. That's funny. Okay. We'll have product to mitigate. What are we looking for here? Crit avoidance? Yeah, crit damage isn't... Mm, crit damage could actually be nice, because we do have it set up. So there isn't actually crit damage on anything left. That's okay. Then we can really lean into this. Yeah, all right. So we'll still have product turn meter and a bunch of crit avoidance. We'll roll with that. Come on out here now. Where are you, TJ? Okay. Um, ideally, we hide him. I think that's the right choice. Now, it's very important that when we can, we destroy... Okay, yes. Oh, shit. 
Okay, thank you, Product Cron. Woohoo! Okay, so, I mean, eh, so, so far, so good? I have got to be torching, motherfuckers. Uh, do I want him to actually get a tech? He'd get either health or attack, so we'd still be able to beat him up. Um, fire, for now. We'll save the smoke screen. Alright, this is critical. Destroy him. Thank you. Thank you for attending our TED Talk. You're not a separatist, Maul, so you can't be resurrected. Nothing will save you. Um, she is a support. Your basic, no, your basic on your turn does cool shit like that, but not really here. So what do you want to do? Do you want to nuke this with the prod up? It's your call. You need to get through the prod up regardless. Okay. A. Okay. Eh, eh. Uh, basic here to equalize, right? Mechanics. Mechanics! You some bringing these mechanics, Misa thinks. Ooh, 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 we so bring it, we so bring it. Mm. Come here, come here, come here, Give me your face. Give me your face. You be stunned. You just chill. Ah, oh, you were supposed to die. It's actually bad sportsmanship. You were supposed to be dead. Sir? Sir? Gonna have to ask you to stop that. Okay, almost there. Stay on target. Okay, that's the big hit. And the keel over. There it is. Okay, 55. It will do. <sighs> oh my god, we didn't use Seer. What's going to be best on this spam? Don't I have me a tab open for that? Wow, really? I already closed it. Prideful. Shush, kitty. Get! It is not pets time. You know this. Do you ever see me wearing this hat when it's pets time? I don't want to hear about it, damn it. All right, it's the hundred percent. Right, 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 right. There's no Omicron on this team. So JML, did anybody see your Khaled? Is is really what I'm curious. And uh, here I'll flip it over to desktop for you guys. Mm-hmm. Sir Malico's fulcrum works. Let's do that then and, and have JML be our reserve team, shall we? Uh Dalcron, I presume. Alright. Ooh, I don't even know what we have left, dark side wise, Dalcron wise. So, doubt we'd end up using a boo-boo cron, but I guess we can make use of that. The other option would be this. The prod up. Some crit chance, some health steal. Why do we care? The prod up will end up getting dispelled, so there's not a lot of value. I think this can still do good work for us. Huh. Imagine being short of Dalkron. Right. Malikos, Fulcrum. Just destroy them. Mm -hmm. I appreciate what you're about. Thank you for your contribution to the conversation. Who needs to go? I mean, ideally, it would be you that goes. Um, you're kind of the pain. It's also an AoE, so, I, yeah, I mean, 
yeah, let's see. Okay, there's your wonder of the force. We can make ready to kill you then. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we can, we can. We could do that. <laughs> hmm. Okay, now he sits, and now we have to let him do stuff. We have no choice in the matter. Basic. And, pop. You and your six birds. And, whoa, 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 whoa. Get out. All right. Very nice. So, we, we, we took our lumps uh, up front, and then... We know we've already had a more successful set of attacks otherwise. Um, so 1590. It is what it is. TJ, have you done anything yet? Get out here. Fight me! I'm going to have to tag him. I'm going to DM him right now. All right. We'll see what he has to say for himself. If he shows up, we were thinking about doing like a one for one, like uh, what Fatal and uh, Zareth did last night, but we resolved to maybe keep it more brief than that, but hopefully we we're still going to be on Discord a bit, so we'll see. We will see. So, you're the really interesting fight. Um, what is it? It's this one we want. We want um, Fleet Page, Ship Counters, most recent. Yes, Radis. Now, how is he setting it? It's X Wing. X Wing and who? Who is TJ Ben setting there? Show me. Show me, TJ. What have you been doing? Not that round. Okay, he sets it rarely. So it's going to be the X-Wing and who? Comeuppance. X-Wing and comeuppance. All right, well, let's sort that out then. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, really? Show me banners. Aha. 75. It's a little bit skimpy, don't you think? 72, 72. Open this up. Show me more. 72. Okay, I'll do it your way. Chimera. Let's update the notes. Okay. Um, Vader. Okay, yeah, we're keeping this straight empire. Okay. Here's hoping. How goes it, Tass? Says uh, Phoenix Feathers. How you been, man? How's life on the other side, dude? Good to see you. Glad you're tuning in. Um, who to hit? I mean, who does it matter to hit? Probably still you. I mean, I don't know. Yes, we would still want you to join the fray, for sure. We take the stun. The stun is something Radis tries to dispel, but it can't, I want to say. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do. All right, so, now that I have your attention. Brap. Brap. 
Oh, you bastard. You can't, you can't do that. Shoot him or something. Um, wait, what is this? Scythe uses the laser cannon against the target enemy. Uh, yeah, her, her AoE is going to suck. We do have another hit coming up. But him doing stuff isn't great either. This is how you lose a ton of banners, though, is this one getting... F mm, don't be cheeky. Take the money. You dodged me! At mm, robble, robble. All right, basic? Okay, thank you. Thank you for, thank you for your participation in our most recent survey. Asshole ships dodging me. All right, you there. Do we take the second ship? We don't. We simply bide our time. I'm good, man. How about you just finish baking a thousand freaking hot cross buns for Easter? Uh, it's now it's over. I'm good. All right, well, hey, man, I hear you, dude. I hear you all about that. Um, do we want this? Well, how do you want to force this? No, I think we want this one. Yeah, same as usual, I think. Just a basic here. Yeah. Because you want to be open for this. Knock Spy right out. If, you know, we were so lucky as to not get like, serially dodged. Y-Wing gets the cleanup. And now we're jammed here for a moment. So we didn't, um... Hmm. How do you want to proceed? I say big hit it. It's fine. Right, now you're here. Yeah, 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 yeah. We really want to get this one down and out of the game. Uh, sweep here. Get that pressure. Okay. So, we have to wait yet. I don't want there to be a ton of risk. So we're going to go ahead and use this now. I don't want to lose fives or anything crazy. Now you come out. You do what you do. All very fair. This can't be evaded regardless of him having blind. So that's why it works. And now this gets blitzed out. This is the real droid. Uh, this is going to miss regardless, so that's fine. All right. In comes Plo to save the day. Get it done, young man. Yep, offense up. Ooh, good damage, good damage. Not quite, but damn fine attempt. Uh, shields up on you, if you would kindly. Okay, it looks like everybody's going to live. Banners aren't the best, but we're going to live. Ah, uh, da 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 Grand target crit hit immunity. da 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 Probably just you. Basic, because it's going to happen regardless. Okay, uh, sweep. This kills the main live vulture, the real vulture. Almost there. Stay on target. Okay, uh, basic. Basic. That's another sweep out. All right, mass assist for the kill. No kill. Get to do an AoE, though. Get some added offense off that from having another target-locked enemy. And the close. All right. And, okay. And, okay. And Male Malevolence didn't take the extra turn this time. So we'll take that. Ah, 72. Okay. Executor. <laughs> Triple attacker. Let's get it done. We know how Han is with me sometimes, so we always come prepared. Uh, I really don't see a reason to take more than two ships ever. I have Phantom to use, but really, Phantom... Like, the first reinforcement, if all goes well, would be great to be Phantom. But if all doesn't go well, you want it to be big. So then if you're going to have a second reinforcement, Phantom's very low value, because you're probably not bringing in a third reinforcement. So mm -hmm. that's why we're not going to use him here. 
All right, here we go. <laughs> TJ said he literally just woke up. Jesus, man. Shameful. You there. Some action, not a lot of action. Holy shit, that was like almost nothing. Oh, thank God. Okay, how do you want to do this? Um, do you want a basic for the ratatat? Yeah, there we go. Okay, you do that. Okay, you've chosen this. You've chosen violence. Okay, you chose to spare. All right, all right, so our man yet lives. Uh, how do you wish to proceed? Da -da 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 -da. Yes, we'll take this. Uh, all right, now how do you want to do this exactly? We'll be out ahead. If we come on in with you, we can AOE. There's some risk here of losing Millennium. I've always wondered about whether or not this was a worthwhile risk to take. And my gut says no, but at the same time, I really want to put in some damage on this one. It's a good opportunity. Um, how do we want to do it? We could bring you in right now. And then do the assist call. Because the Y-Wing's already damaged. Go for it. Get the money? Get the money? Get a little bit of money? No, not really. Okay. Hope that it's... Okay. Bosk is the good one. Yep. It would be worse for us if it were Boba. Okay. Thank you. Jesus. That was scary. Okay. Nice. Now we're going to start getting lots and lots of assists there. Okay. We're almost there already. Um, we could go ahead and pull Xanadu out of stealth. Have him marked now. Nice. Tough to, tough to complain about that. All right, these guys are restored. Let's chip this off. Okay, probably are not needing to even bring in Ghost, so we don't have that exposure losing the banner of him getting damaged. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Chip. Good. Good. Uh, this one. Let's have the speed. Hopefully it's enough to close this out. He said, not getting any assists. Take this. How do you want to do it? Um, mass? Try and get a good chain off that? No, no good chain. Okay, good talk. Um, if we do the DI here... Okay, good stuff. 75. Fine banners. All right, we put up a 2032. Not a bad score, all things considered. So we had our, what, our two drops up front. Learned a good lesson about Sidious. That's right, I got to re-roll the crap out of that cron right now. Yeesh. All right, guys. Uh, TJ said he's just getting up, so I might pop into my Discord and... Um, you know, maybe TJ will stream on my Discord and we'll take a look at it. Thank you, Ash. Appreciate it. Always fun to fight TJ. Good old-fashioned nostalgia match. That's why I'm in the hat. Uh, let's go ahead and review everything. So I covered how he did his attacks on me uh, at the start of the stream, such as it is. So you can go back to the early part of the VOD for that. And for my own part... Bottom front, my very first attack, I uh, wanted to do City of Solo here. And, you know, I'd heard such great things. But we actually only got one turn with a 300 speed Sidious before we just got worked out. Now, what I came to see about looking at TJ's Kron, my, my Sidious is set up just off of mods and whatever to be bigger. Like, more health, more potency, more speed, more damage, more everything. But he had 55% health on the Kron, and the stats on my Sidious Kron are garbage. So, I've really got to work on those. Um, good homework for me. But, yeah, I, I learned a painful lesson there. So, we got blown out on that. Went out, went back in with Malgus, Malik, and DR against a preloaded DTMG. No issues. 36 banners would have been a 56, you know. Um, against Kalasoka and Mace. 
Conceptually, I feel like Treya has a lot to offer to taking this out, and we were doing okay until we weren't. Like, the the isolate on Kel was nice. We really slowed them down, but then they just started to gain too much um, Padawan lessons. Like, I want to say when I started losing people, we're talking like 70-plus stacks, right? Just heinous stuff. So we ended up being able to delete out... Um, you know, Kellerin with Nihilus, and then we just got closed out. Went back in with Veer's Dark Piet. Didn't know at that time, not knowing what was in the back, if I maybe needed um, Wampa for something else. Could have maybe gained a couple extra banners there. But also, you know, Shatterpoint still affects Wampa through everything, so I was like, eh, why, why take the risk? You know, I'm not really going to use Veer's Dark Piet anywhere else. So... Against Qui-Gon, J.K. Camp, I hemmed and hawed about using JML Hoda. Ended up not using JML at all this round, for what it's worth, so I definitely could have done that and saved a couple banners in the doing. Got something like a 58, maybe, with JML Hoda. But I saw the opportunity with his Cam and his Qui-Gon being slower than J.K. That just means that I had to take the punch up front from J.K. And then Bad Batch would be able to go thereafter. So we went in with Bad Batch and a set 13 crown with Prod Up, and it worked exactly the script. We, we controlled them and, and worked them right out, 55 banners. Uh, Ray Swolo Cal. Yeah, this was actually a recommendation I heard uh, from, from Renee um, about fighting these Rays. You know, whether or not it's with the set 13 or the new set 14 crown, Bane seems to take this on, this composition, very well, 55 banners. Saw Chirrut and Bays. Uh, oh, by the way, I was talking mad shit about the Bane Cron not being, like, the level 9 not being super valuable. The Sith, the Summon Sith Trooper being able to cleanse you is actually really clutch. Um, because your attacks can, like, your, your middle and your third, both of his specials, can be evaded. Like, they're... Uh, you know, you, you don't want to be blinded, and we were blinded by Swolo, so we got to cleanse that off, then do skills and stuff like that. It, it looked a little messy for a second, but it stabilized, because we, we kept stacking up. Um, encourage you to see that one. That was a good one. Saw Chirrut and Bays. JMK, Cat, GK. Nothing crazy there. 57 banners. So that's, that's the story. That's as rough as it got was on that front wall. In the back, I expected uh, quite a bit of nastiness from TJ. But he, he spared me his full wrath and made sure that he had enough to clear me well on offense. So he set Hera, Krex, and Kanan. We went in there with Padme, Ahsoka, and Wrecker. 56 banners. Just like it wasn't nothing. Gorgeous. Wouldn't change a thing. Oh, yeah, that's right. I, I have... Uh, I, I didn't switch it back over to my main scene. Yeah, um, let's see. Dash, Vandor, L3. We took in Boss Grief, Mando, 57 banners, like a song. Trench, Dooku, Sunfax. So yeah, with, without text being, you know, uh, without Watt's text being in the mix, this wasn't all that. Uh, EP, Mara Jade, Starkiller, 56 banners, no problems. Um, next was Bam, Han, Chewie, and we were at the overkill portion of the show, right? We, we had options here. We had, like, Seer, Malakos, and JML left. This was the last team we cleared. And we went in with Seer, Malakos, Fulcrum, 57 banners. Uh, yes, this Maul, Watt, Paz thing. This was kind of interesting. We went in with Leia, Drogon R2, and very severe heavy damage came out from this we lost all of our prod off of leia and he started to chip into a bit of the health it, it looked like we were taking some real damage there so i'm glad we had stealth um on the right people on our side tune so that he only could focus on leia didn't have to worry about trying to revive nobody worked pretty well um 55 banners all right top side how many drops did i say today by the way it was Two was my limit. Two or less. Ha ha, two or less. I'm going to pay out two or less right now on the prediction. So, congratulations, you know. Congratulations to all of you who believed. Blessed are those who have believed and have not seen. All right. Um, top side. Against his Iden, the, the scourge of God for me historically in threes, Radis Jin SRP got it done, 57 banners. Malgus, Sith Marauder, and Sass with a 77% health crime, man. I didn't want to mess with it. Could You, you can maybe do this historically, like, solo with C. 
I didn't even feel like C Scion might be enough. Um, because not only do you have just the huge hit up front from Malgus, then he's going to stack his health, and then he's got a Sasscron down with the Sass, you know, Sass level 9, so she's actually going to be pushing quite a bit of turn meter. You're expecting to have him do at least one more dunk out of that over the course of the fight, which can screw up your Jedi, screw up maybe even your Sith, I don't know. So I took two tanks. I took Scion and I took uh, Piggy. And turns out Piggy really wasn't needed. Uh, Scion ate the first dunk like a man, and from there we were okay. Uh, 55 banners nonetheless. It was great. Against his Tuscans. Yeah, man. Bam Han Chewy with that Bam Cron. Offense stacking on six. That's special that, uh, that Sasha showed us last season. Still works beautifully. Um, 55 banners. It was 57 for me last time. So, yeah. A little worse for wear. Against his Finn, um, Zori, and RHF, we went in with Afra BT1 and Triple Zero for 57. DRBSF Savage. Slacker Solo works on this historically. Um, he has the stacking health and offense level 3, so if we killed Savage, I didn't know what kind of damage I might expect to see out of DR. I don't want to risk getting exploded going in with Slacker Solo, which worked last season. So I took in both Hux and Faust. Buttery smooth. 57 banners. Just manhandled them. All right. Top side. Or sorry. Rather, Fleets, where we just wrapped up. Uh, against his malevolence was Spy up front, only Vulture on the bench. We went in with Negotiator for 72. Against his Executor, Triple Attacker, Profundity for 75. And against his Radis team, we went in with Chimera for 75. Just a, a solid romp through the fleets. So yeah, we we put we had some pain. We've already caused a good bit of pain to TJ. I, I want to say... I want to say I don't think he can win now. Because I only had the two drops. And he's had two drops and then a double shot there. And then he still has all this to go. So I want to say I'm, I'm, I think I'm in the clear on this. And if that's the case, not to be presumptuous, but if I end up in fact being the winner, you know, uh, tip of the hat to you, TJ. Always a pleasure to square up with you. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see each other real soon, man. You know, I, you know how it is out here. All right, guys, uh, let's get ready to get everything closed out and raid you on out the door. So first things first, if you want to catch me, um, you know, if you're uh, wanting to hang out on Discord, be in touch, that's the link to it. So I also announce when I'm going to go live there. Um, you know, if you want to uh, join the server, check that, uh, go to self-roll, make sure you have the Swugga Roll channel. Uh, sorry, the Swuggo roll. And then if you want to get the ping for when I go live on Twitch or when one of my videos hits YouTube, uh, check the rolls for that, uh, which brings us to YouTube. So if you want to catch the, uh, you know, this stream as a VOD with chapters added for easy browsing, in addition to all the previous episodes, uh, that's all there on YouTube. I also have some Swugga related content that's not my stream there. have a, a Datacron Set 14 video that uh, put out just last week or so with Aesop Rock, uh, one of the very top players in the game. Um, great video to catch. And then, of course, my GAC-focused podcast, Plotting and Scheming. Uh, it's a week in review format. I make it with my friends Dagger, TJ, and Sasha Isha. We go over what worked for us, what didn't, what were our standout defenses, what lessons we're taking to the next week, and anything else we think worth mentioning. Um, that podcast is on YouTube, also on Spotify, YouTube, Podcasts, Google Podcasts. Working on getting it on Apple. It's kind of a pain. It's, you know, we'll, we'll get there. And last but never least, you know, if you like the cut of my jib, you like what I'm doing here, and you want to support me in the stream, uh, by all means, check out my Patreon. And, you know, there's something in it for you, too. Uh, check out patreon.com forward slash Tassinix for any upwardly mobile streamer, uh, you know, GAC, or not streamer, but GAC player, there's something to benefit you. At $5, you get in the door to the Tass house. You get early access to all of my uh, YouTube content. So plotting and scheming uh, comes out for public release every Friday. And uh, for all my patrons, they get access to it on Monday, Tuesday at the latest, depending on the schedule of us recording the show. But th those few extra days can give you some benefit for remod, having, having everything set up just right before the weekly lock-in. There's some value there. 
But if you uh, use the bots, if you're interested in raising your Intel game, you can also check out the $10 and $15 tiers. $10 tier gets you bundled in with Omega Bot, so if you like that detailed report I had on TJ at the start of the stream, that is a feature of the Patreon Omega Bot. Um, it just helps you drill right down onto your opponent's tendencies. Few tools give you that at-a-glance information the way it is. Actually, I don't think there is anything else that does it. And then, of course, at the top tier at $15 right now, we have uh, the Bot Bundle with Omega Bot and Hot Utils. And that is the premier tool for, you know, uh, mod management in your inventory, loadout, so you can easily swap your roster from what you need for GAC into Raid, into TW. Helps th uh, makes things a snap and back yourself up so you don't uh, make a mistake you can't undo. But anyways, enough about the bots. Check it out for yourself and see what you like. All right, we've got to thank the patrons themselves that make all of this possible. Starting from the bottom, at VIP Access, thanks goes out to White Wolf, Sam Vimes, Jobin4527, Stark Strategy Gamer, uh, Rene Bebe, Deadpool Cow 28 Johnny B. Ottawa, JJ's Productions Twitch, Sweens14, Darth QPPMG, Ray's Malbus, and Brock Thud Steel. At VIP Access Plus, thanks go out to Trevor Boy Gaming, Striker, and Esh Sotnikam. Thank you guys for taking advantage of that Omega Bot bundle. At VIP Access Premium, Quig, Ibanek, and Sir Boss, thank you so much for your support, and I'm glad you're enjoying your double uh, bot bundle with Omega Bot and Hot Utils. Glad we got you set up. Uh, at the top of the heap, in one of the hidden you know, yet unreleased, uh, not publicly yet available Patreon tiers, is just my number one fan, uh, my number one supporter, Nomad's Reaper, a man who comes in from time to time, drops thousands of biddies, hundreds of subs, literally, all in one go, just crushes it. So thank you for the overwhelming support um, you know, over the last few years. Thank you, man, so much. All right, let's go to our special thanks. Yoda Force, one of my original supporters, my former guildmaster back in the day when I was in Vanguard. He's long since quit the game, but he was one of my early supporters and bought me this microphone that I'm talking to you on. Uh, we wish him well on the other side. To Mrs. T, thank you, uh, my wife, for keeping our daughter out of my hair during the stream. Uh, so, you know, as soon as the stream is over, I am back to the minds of, you know, drilling her ABCs and 123s with her because that's what she wants Dad to do. So, appreciate you running interference. To Dagger, TJ, and Sasha Isha, again, my co-hosts on Plotting and Scheming. Can't thank you guys enough um, for being part of the show. I know we're taken away from your work and or family time, one of the two, surely. Uh, couldn't make the show without you. The quality would be lacking. It would just be me talking by myself. And God knows, that, that, that might just put you to sleep. So thank you guys so much for all you do uh, making our show. And a special note as well for Dagger, who is an admin on my Discord. Helps a lot in the background. Answers a lot of community questions. We appreciate the added support. All right, guys. Back on over to the main scene. Let's get it set up. Who we sending you is off to? Who's on? Who's on? Ba, 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 ba. Why don't we dive on in on Oh Bones Bones over there um isn't he in an, an Aussie? Man, he is up super duper late. Hmm. I raided Nooch last time. Why don't we why don't we raid Bones? Give him some love, yeah? How about we do that? Alright, let's set it up. All right, and thank you, everybody who's uh, tuned in today. This is a really fun one. Um, o N E Z Bones eighty eight. There you are. All right, raids starting up. So yeah, um, tomorrow night uh, schedule allowing. I, I think I'll be home reasonably early enough from all my Easter obligations. So I think I'll be able to stream Sunday night. Only way to know for sure is to be on my Discord and look for the announcements, so do that. Um, until next time, though, it's been real. It's been awesome. It's been real awesome. Take care.